Hello, welcome everyone to this official Solar Clue YouTube channel. I am Akshay here and I am a solar expert working in this industry from last seven years. So I have enough knowledge on solar water heater and, and the whole system of uh, solar water heater. So today I am going to share my experience about the product and how a system actually works. So stick to the screen and note down all the important points which I am going to discuss and which I am going to display on the on the video so let's go on the topics which we are going to cover is how a solar water heater works what is a solar water heater merits and demerits how to select the size how to select between different types of water heaters how to select the brand we will do a price basis calculation on, uh, on electrical geyser and a solar water heater how to check these products on solarclub.com and how to purchase also so let's go on first and foremost the most important thing is how actually solar water heater works as the name suggests it works on solar energy solar energy means sun energy so what is going to happen it is going to extract sun energy it is going to soak sun energy and it will transfer the uh, that energy to the water and the water eventually becomes hot so the overall process is solar water heater will come with a tank this way is known as collector. Collector means it collects an energy and the stand will be there which is not available in this photo. So stand also will be there. So what happens first of all water will come via an inlet plumbing pipe and it will fill the tank. Okay and then from here cold water will go and it will dance everywhere inside the tubes. Since the, this collector or the tubes is getting sun energy and because of this the tubes become hot and since the water is traveling inside this collector the water eventually becomes hot and it goes back again inside the tank so this is how a solar water heater works so between majorly between 9 30 to 2 30 in the afternoon 90 percent of the heating happens so it takes it it takes four five six hours of sun so that it heats the full capacity okay so now first of all how to select a capacity which capacity is for you um, so on what basis you have to select your product so the uh, there are different types 100 liter to 500 liter majorly used in residential sector 500 liter plus is used in a commercial sector where the requirement is huge so how to calculate for yourself first of all so uh, it is dependent on how many people are there in your house how many persons are there in your house so calculate them and multiply by 40 or 50 both so let's say for an example let's say we have a four member people in our house we have four members so multiply 4 into 40 it is 160 4 into 50 it is coming 200 that means my requirement is between 160 to 200 liter now whenever this difference comes always go for the higher one because solar water heater capacity remain fixed throughout the lifetime of let's say 15 years before that i would like to uh, i will give you one answer most of the people ask me whether it is liter 100 liter 200 liter or lpd actually it is lpd lpd means liter per day so if you are buying 200 lpd that means you are uh, it, the product is going to give you 200 liter per day for the every day throughout 15 years so that means if today you, you have four members so 150 160 is okay but what will happen if number of people will increase let's say newborn kids older parents guest comes so your requirement will become high but the solar water heater will not give you um, the output so that is why you have to Know, for the future purpose also you have to buy it now so this you can see on this basis you can purchase your product now coming to the thing is there are two types of a solar water heater non-pressure versus pressurized to solar water heater so this you can see if i place this solar water heater on your terrace the question is water is going to come from a overhead tank like this or it is going to come from a booster pump like this so suppose it is coming from an overhead tank 
So if the water to the water heater is coming from an overhead tank or syntax, then you need to buy a non-pressurized solar water heater because water from an overhead tank comes with a normal pressure because gravity is pulling it. So that is why not much of pressure will be there. So solar water heater will be able to handle that pressure. And one more condition is that the from the terrace where you are going to place your solar water heater, minimum six feet height stand should be there on top of which you have to put your overhead tank. This stand can be your lift room, staircase room, or uh, you can prepare it also, but you have to give a height because the solar water heater height is approximately 4.5 feet from the terrace. Your overhead tank should be at least 6 feet height from the terrace, then only water is going to come from here to here. Now the opposite case happens. Suppose between these two items, this kind of booster pump is installed, then what will happen? This booster pump from the overhead tank it will come to the booster pump booster pump will push the water to the solar water heater in this case what will happen your solar water heater is going to get the water with a lot of pressure which your product needs to handle so that is in that case you have to buy a pressurized solar water heater so here it is written also if the water is coming from a coming from a booster pump then you need to buy a pressurized solar water heater the reason i have told this you can read also Going to the next thing is what are the types of solar water heater? After selecting between non pressurized and pressurized, you can select you want a evacuated tube collector type or a flat plate collector type. So, approximately, I will tell you what is the difference. Tubular model is higher in efficiency, it will give you 5 degree more temperature, half an hour faster heating, and in the monsoon kind of climate where sun is not there but the humidity is there, heat is there in the atmosphere then also a little bit tube model will perform but the panel model will fail to do so tube model are lesser in price so this model is double the price approximately 1.5 times to 2 times of this product so suppose this is 30,000 this will be 55,000 uh, the warranty on this product is 5 years 5 year or 10 year depending on brand to brand but only on the tank but here if you are getting getting the warranty here you will get the warranty between one to five year and but it will be warranty on the full system the problem with this product is this tubes which you can see in a bluish color is a borosilate glass material it's a glass so it's a fragile material so since it is open to the atmosphere it will be installed on your terrace if you have a children who play uh, on the terrace if you have animals monkeys nearby or then very big construction is going on nearby your house then if any physical damage happens it will break and you have might have to pay around thousand to fifteen hundred rupees depending on where you live your panel model with this kinds of physical activity even by mistake if you do it will not break so this is the thing now moving into the next uh, sector is the difference between an electrical geyser and a solar water heater.